devils, no dancing with devils, no fellow but rebels. Some digging with shovels, they digging, they digging, they digging real deep. Some humble, they harking, they listen, they meet. Some praise the most high seven days of the week. Some put in that work and go teach in the streets. Some just come to take up the air that we breathe. Some come just to take up the space that we need. Their spiritual levels, their spiritual levels, they come in on shapes in the sun. There's several. Bring it out, bro. This is Romans chapter 9 and verse 11. Going deep in this. For the right. children being not yet born. Go ahead. Say that again. For the children, children being not yet born. Be ready. Neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand. Not of works, but of him that called him. Him that what? But of him, him that called him. See, the most high got to call you. God got to call you. And you don't he don't choose to serve the most high. Before you even done any wiki, he already chose you to designate your path. That's why you're doing what you're doing. You think you got an illusion of a choice, but it's it's deeper than what you think it is. The heart, he said in Jeremiah, is a, a, a wicked. Deceitful all things, who can know it but the Lord? Why? Because he made you like that. So you'll never be understand why the wicked do what they do and why the righteous do what they do. You think because they have, no, you don't have a choice. Most I made certain people do certain things. That's why you say fret not the evil doers. He already know what he gonna do to them. He said they would be like the grass. They would soon be cut off. So all this wickedness, all this un unrighteousness thing is gonna be cut off. Come hear the word, my sister. Come get some of this knowledge. What's that? <laughs> Throw you what? You got why you serving? Hey, why you serving? Pray. Um, well, he, bought, he might give you a third chance too. You never know. All right. This is Romans chapter not verse. I mean chapter eleven verse eight. I mean verse seven. Sorry. What then? Israel have not attained that which you seek for, but the election have attained, and the rest were blind. The rest were what? And the rest were blind. Were blinded. According, according as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber. A what? God hath given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should not see. Eyes they should not what? Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Brothers and sisters, I, I try to look. The more you read this Bible, the more wisdom God gives you. The most high give you to understand it that we don't really have a, 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 a choice. We have been called from the foundation of the earth. We've been chosen to be the righteous. Um, the, um, the chosen, the 12 tribes of Israel, or you called to be the wicked. You don't have a choice. You think you have an illusion of a choice. Why do you think there's so many wicked people? Because God said the wicked, for he made them, was going to outnumber the just. So he says, soon the evildoers shall be like the grass in the field. They shall be cut down. If you ain't serving the God, then you're going to be the wicked. You're going to be like the grass. You're going to be cut down. You're going to be done away with. Because this kingdom to come is going to be a righteous kingdom. Made of who? Made of the Israelites. Come. That's who's going to be ruling over this world. Let's go back to... Um, I know I'm with you. You got precept? All right, read that. Yeah. All right. This is Mark chapter 7 and verse 8. Bring it up. For laying aside the commandments of God. What? It's like, for laying aside the commandments of Yahweh, ye hold the traditions of men as washing of the pots and cups and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, Fall full will ye reject the commandment of Yahweh, that ye may keep your own tradition. Ah, that's what people are doing. They got this St. Patrick thing going on. What's going on, brother? Come get some of this knowledge, man. What's that? It's good. You ain't good, man. Come and get some, come and get something that will make you good. That's how people think they're good. They don't know. And that's it, man. But look, that's what our people are doing. Look, they got St. Patrick's Day going on instead of the Shabbat. This is Sabbath. So they're laying aside the Sabbath and keeping what? And keeping the tradition of men. St. Patrick's Day. I could have, you know, got on the system a little bit, but I let it slide because, you know, sometimes it's out of the Lord, brother. I wanted to bring it out, but the Lord said, nah. <laughs> Don't bring it out. I, she got on a big green leprechaun shirt, knowing it's a folly. Just, just, our people just in a wreck, man. Lucky, lucky. You know what I'm saying? But it's time for all people to wake up knowing that they... What's up, my sisters? How y'all doing? Y'all know y'all the queens of the earth? The princes of the earth? Y'all know that? Y'all the chosen people of God? Y'all know that? Y'all know this is Shabbat day? All right, well, I like it. Let's go.
This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3. Bring it up. But if our gospel be hid, what? But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. To what? To what? them that are lost. To them that are lost. If you, let me bring something out, bro. To, to them that are lost. Is this gospel be hid? It's to them that are lost. That's a powerful thing. Come hear this word, my people. Come get some of this knowledge. Come and, come and see how to be one of the wisest men of the world, brother. But look, if it's here, what? Keep reading down right It's like Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. That are lost. Keep and reading. whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. And that's what it's about, brother. If his gospel be hid, it's hid to them or lost. That's why he said, many are called, but on a few are chosen. And by now, we've been in, we've been, our eyes have been open about five years now. I say we've been in the truth about five years, right? Knowing that we, when I say in the truth, knowing the true word of the most high. That's what we're talking about. Knowing that the law ain't done away with, knowing that Yahweh Shah is our savior, our Messiah, knowing that he came not to do away with the law, knowing that we got to keep all the laws, knowing that we do it to our best ability, be you holy for I am holy, strive to be perfect, all these things that he taught us. And that's what we're doing. We know not to keep Sunday because it's not the Sabbath. These things that he's taught us to keep the law. So if you're still on the bull job or going to church on Sundays, Worshiping like the Edomites, the so-called uh, heathens, then you you've been deceived, brother. You've been deceived. If you are not keeping the Shabbat, then you've been deceived. This, these are some of the things our people don't understand that he say is hidden from you. Your eyes, your eyes have not seen, your ears ain't open yet to see what God has promised to his people. The these man, I'm telling you, bro, look, these are the these these are the only things that Identify you. Um, give me um, Isaiah eight twenty. These are the only thing um, identify you on. Just your eyes been open, your ears been. He, according to the law and testimony, you got to read this, brother. But you got to remember, if you ain't, you gonna be like one of the wicked. You are gonna be soon cut down because you are not being chosen. The chosen vessel that God said from the foundation of the earth, knowing any evil or good. He already chose the good and he already chose the bad. That's why we got so many. The, he said the wicked shall outnumber the just. Come. And we see it. We downtown Greenville. We see what's going on. The wicked outnumber the just. Come back to the phone, bro. Yeah. 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 You're going to read it. Go ahead. Bring it out. Isaiah 8 and 20. I mean 8 and 20. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. And they speak not according to this to this word. To what word? To this Bible, brother. Uh -huh. To this Bible. Uh, John said, "This is the book of the law. You shall not depart. You shall not depart from it. This is gonna bring you wisdom." On um, Deuteronomy chapter four, this is your wisdom, your understanding before the sight of the people. And God letting you know in the last day, we gonna we gonna get we getting we getting opening now, bro. Bring it on. Now, bro. Go ahead. It is because there is no light in them. No what? It is because there is no light in them. According to the Bible, you don't have no light in you, brother. If you if you still struggling with keeping the commandments of God, keeping his Shabbat, not eating these unclean foods and stuff, if you still struggling with that, then guess what? That's no light in you. Because you don't have a good understanding. A good understanding is all that is do his commandments. They got a good understanding. But if you still don't understand the commandments of God, then you, you're not been chosen. You, you've been the one that's been traded as the evildoers, which has soon be cut. Like the grass in the field and thrown into the fire because you don't have no understanding you god hadn't he hadn't told you from the foundation of the earth to get it precept right 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 this is first corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. Bring it up. but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of god that's, see that's natural man can't understand what we're talking about he hadn't been born again he hadn't been washed in that in that blood that we're talking about y'all shall say unless you drink this blood and eat my flesh you ain't done that yet you can't understand these words. It's a spiritual thing. Keep reading. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. For right. they are foolishness. Yeah, what? For they are foolishness. foolishness. Natural, him. natural man don't know what's going on. They fooling us. This Bible is a foolish thing to him. Man, don't, I don't believe in that right now. You see, he's a natural man. He hadn't been chosen. He hadn't been set aside. You know what I'm saying? So he would be a natural man. But the, the wise man, the spiritual man, he, he knows that the Word of God is... 
is truth. He gonna always be, he'll die for this world. You know what I'm saying? He'll die, when well, they say, I die for this truth. Huh? I die for my creed. All this they say. But we die for this word. Why? Because we believe that Yahweh Shah died for us and told us exactly the key to life. Understand? This is the life. This is the new covenant right here, he said. So if you still struggling with me, you don't know what day to go to church on, you don't know if I should eat pork or if I should eat these shrimp. That's the basic thing. The commandments are the basic thing. If you still struggling with the basic thing, then you will never get to the point where you understand the wisdom of God. Blessed are those that do his commandment. He said, they shall have the tree of life. Revelation uh, 22 and 14. They shall have the right to the tree of life. So sweat not an evil doer. They shall soon be cut off and thrown in the fire, brothers. And that's what's going on in this world. We see the evil of, of um, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Halloween, all these things that the churches do. Easter coming up. They're going to be celebrating Easter. They're going to have their eggs. All these things are the paganism. They soon shall be cut down like the grass in the field and thrown in the fire. Right. These are the evildoers. This is what they do. It's the paganism. That's who worship after them. And if you're still doing the same thing, guess what? You shall soon be cut down and burnt up and thrown into the fire, brother. Neither can he know them. He can't even know them. Because they are spiritually discerned. They are what? Spiritually discerned. See, that's why, you got, that's why he told Nicodemus, you must be what? Born again, brother. You must be born again. You can't understand anything, Nicodemus. You, you're a chief. Nicodemus, you're a Pharisee of the chief. And you don't understand what I'm saying? I'm like, you got to be born again. Y'all don't understand what we're saying, that the most high don't change. I am the Lord your God. I what? I change not. You got people down here, look, got their green on. They don't know what's going on. They're the wicked. They don't know. But for the y'all that think you say, you brothers down here on the come down. I might be the most high pointing you to. Come get some of this knowledge, my brothers. Come get some of this knowledge, sisters. All right, bring it out. This is John chapter 8 and verse 47. Yeah. He that is of God heareth God's word. There you go. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. God. If you don't recognize God's word, then you're not of God. You're just like a grass about to be cut up, thrown in the fire. you just walking around every day, man. What do they call that thing on Green Mile? Got some dead man walking. It's a dead man walking. So if you don't hear these spiritual words, you just a dead man walking. you just filling the space where God got you walking around just to be cut down like the grass in the field and to be thrown in the fire because you don't hear God's word. You just go do what you want to do when you want to do it. So you're going to be like the grass of the field. You're going to be like the wicked. You're going to be cut down and thrown in the fire because you hear not God's word. And soon the wicked shall be no more. They're going to be no more. We don't have no more wicked people on earth because the righteous going to shine like the stars in the sky. Where you at? Where you at on that? Oh, give me um, Deuteronomy chapter 30. Um, I got another one. I got another All right, bring that out. Oh, you got to too? Okay, bring your now, y'all, man. All right, this, this is Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprighteousness will he deal up unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. This is Isaiah, okay. Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Bring it down, bro. So keep you standing wicked as you continue doing what you want to do. You think, well, you know, that Bible's cool. You know, I believe parts on it, like the sisters say, you know, you really don't take heed into the most high's word. Your future is destruction. There is no other way. Your future is not, oh, maybe I'll make it. Oh, you know, maybe I got a chance. Uh, you know, you died and you're thinking everybody went to heaven. No, uh, your, your chances are zero. You have a zero percent chance. If you're not trying to keep God's commandments as long as the statute, you're not following after the path of his son, you have a zero percent chance. Not a one percent, not a half percent. You zero. have a zero. There's no chance of you making it. That's, and that's something you got to drill in your head. I like that, brother. I like that right there. That's, that let me know. I like what I tell people. I said, think about it. You just see, like, I just can't get it. I don't know what's going on. I can't get it. Why, why you can't get it? Because I ain't getting it. Thank you for destruction. He, he led you to the 
like a sheep to the uh, what is it, slaughter. As the scripture says, if the righteous scarcely be saved, Ooh. what is it unto <laughs> the normal man to see exactly, walking around they, here? They day. don't even stand a chance. They don't, it's not it's even just scares to make it. Exactly. Then the unrighteous have no chance. That's what it's all about, people. Look, you as as a, uh, a a follow. I hear a lot of people say they follow God. They follow the Lord, but they still don't keep His laws, statutes, commandments. They still don't keep His feast day. They ain't trying to do. They just still about doing what they doing each and every week. They still serving on the, the uh, Sunday laws. They still go to church on Sunday. They still worship like the heathen. They still celebrating Easter, Christmas, and all these things. You a heathen? You soon shall be like the grass that is cut off. Still celebrating Saint Patrick's Day. They got their green on. You a heathen? You ain't been called to serve the Most High. You've been set up to be destructive, the wicked, the bonfire. That's what it's all about. Most High has set you up. He chose a very, he called many, but he only chose a very few to be saved. And that's the sad part about our people. The so-called Christians, the so-called people that think they're going to be saved, they still worship like the, the pagans. They still celebrating Sunday worship. They still go celebrate Christmas. They still Halloween. They still celebrating all these things that the most high hate. You see, I hate these things. And that's what's wrong with our people. They, they think God done changed. Oh, he's going to be so merciful. He's going to let us slide. No, God is not going to let you slide. The scriptures even say he's merciful unto those that keep his commandments. Exactly. You're not going to receive that mercy because you ain't even tried. Exactly. So just like they did in the, in the wilderness, he, did he let them slide? No. He killed them all out there and let their children go into the promised land. That's what's going on, our people. What's up, my sister? How y'all doing? Come, hey, let me get y'all a flyer that will elevate y'all to the heights, okay? One flyer. Come on now. What's up? Y'all believe, hey, y'all believe in black love, don't you? Well, that's why you ain't got no man with you. You don't believe in black love. Get a flyer. <laughs> Come hear the word, brother. Come get some of this knowledge to elevate you, brother. Don't put your head down. Come in. What, what you got? What you got? What we on it? If you know it, then what we doing? You don't know it. All right, my sister. Remember that now. Look it up now. All right. Yeah. That's a big old boy. <clears throat> <laughs> I like Jiggy said, that's a big old boy. That's a big old boy. That's a big old boy right there. But yeah, that's what we're about though. We look, it's look, it's all about the most high. He, he set us out here on these streets. These streets. We 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 only the the vessels, brother. The clay. The, I mean, he in his hand. He part of you know, he's making us, he's shaping us, he's putting these words in our mouth to go out and teach this word. It's nothing about us. It's all about him who, who called us to do this marvelous work. You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing about us. We are here trying to let the people know that it's time to, it's, it's a piper to play. What's up, my brother? And you know it's a piper to play sooner or later? God is like a, a piper. He like, he got a debt for you to pay. Do you know that? All right. God, it's a debt to be paid in the end he said he's coming back i was talking to some people at work one time so we was in a meeting i said you know what the, the strangest thing i ever found when god flooded the earth killed everybody except eight people and he said it's going to be like the days of Noah in the end do y'all actually believe god drowned the whole earth and killed on it and killed everybody except eight people no y'all don't believe that but guess what it's going to happen again and you're going to still be saying no <laughs> it's gonna happen again. He's still sitting on top of they don't believe it. But guess what? It's evidence that he done it. This God that say they say he's so loving, he's so kind, he flooded the earth and killed everybody except eight people. Now, do that sound like a God don't play? He do not play. He letting you know he's a man, he's a man of war. He's coming back for war. They even even his son, Yahweh said the blood is gonna be up to the horse's brow. He's gonna do a lot of killing when he comes back. Two thirds of mankind gonna be slaughtered. He gonna send the death angels out to kill two thirds of mankind. Fret not. Soon, the evil doers shall be cut down like the grass in the field, brothers and sisters. We ain't gonna have to worry about it no more. Right. John chapter ten and verse twenty six. But ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep. What? So read that again. But ye believe not, not because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, no. and I know them, no. and they follow me. And they what? And they follow me. They follow me. Read it again. 
Uh, but ye believe not because you are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, mm. and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Never what? They shall never, never perish. perish. They're always going to be around, brothers. Jesus, Jehovah Shah said that. Keep reading. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Mm. My father which gave them to me. What? My father which gave them. No, they came on their own. My father which gave them me Keep reading. is greater than all. Greater than and all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. See, it's, it's a calling, brother. It's a calling thing. It's an election thing, brother. It's already been signed up from the foundation of the world. Y'all was I say, the father is giving them to me. That's why these disciples stood with him and hung with him. Because they was already plucked from the foundation of the earth to be his disciples. And the ones that weren't, guess what? They got rid of them. But the ones that were, they stuck with him to the end. They died for him. All of them died for him. Why? Because they were chosen from the foundation of the earth. The same way that we are plucked and chosen from the foundation of the earth, the same way the disciples were to stand out on the, go out to the, um, 12, the 12 tribes of Israel, the lost sheep of Israel, huh. go out and spread this gospel. Same thing we're doing to you, my brother and sister. That's what you got to recognize. If you ain't been called, you haven't been get, got ears to hear it, you will never hear it, eyes to see it. You will never see what is taking place right now. You will always be that wicked, that evildoers soon shall be cut down like the grass in the field. Let's go back to uh, Psalm 37. Yeah. Go back to that. Psalm chapter 37 in verse 5. Read. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall what? And he shall bring it to pass. If you want wisdom, you want understanding, you want to desire your heart, do what? He shall bring it to pass. He shall bring it to pass. He'll bring it to pass. Only when you do what he say. Right. Trust me, brother and sister. It's about one thing only, trusting in the most high and doing what he say. Done. And he shall bring it to pass. Fret now the evildoers. For soon, all these wretched people in the world, you see. <laughs> you see soon. Guess what? You don't have to worry about Negroes um, killing and stealing, breaking in your house out a while. Because soon they're going to be cut down like the fields of the earth. These... <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's a lot of people saying to say brother it's a lot of time where you say hey, hey. <laughs> what the hell is that bro? <laughs> oh man I got you. I'm on the motorcycle okay but soon they're gonna be cut down brother you ain't gotta worry about locking your doors no more riding putting chains around your houses and stuff all these things gonna be done away with the evil duels gonna be cut down like the grass in the field brother they're gonna be done away with you can sleep on the porch tonight, fall asleep. You ain't got to worry about nobody else. There won't be no Elmo's, won't be no Elmo's on the motorcycles. No cookie monster. You know what I'm saying? won't be none of that because most high are going to cut them down. That ain't happening. That ain't going to happen in the kingdom, brother. Look at him, bro. Exactly. Look at him. Drunk is just drunk. This is what? Verse 6. Drunk. Look at this shit. All right, boy. That's drunk. Damn. That's me. Man. That's what school is on. Boy, this, now this is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, brother. So we are here in Greenville, South Carolina, down here downtown, St. Patrick's Night. Letting you know that it's the black people down here celebrating St. Patrick's Day too. If they only knew who they were as a chosen people, the so-called chosen people of God, and the so-called Mexican, the so-called Hispanic, the so-called Indian, Israelite like scattered abroad. Israelite like scattered abroad on the full court. Hold on. I, mean, I, 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 I want to say one thing. Right, Imagine if they came together so hard like they do for uh, St. Patrick's Day. Everybody came together for the Lord that hard. Exactly. Yeah, so, these are little red uh, uh, tabernacles. Imagine a completely different spirit they have. But because they chose that spirit of paganism, they've been, that's the well, spirit hey, I'll tell you what we do. Let's do this. Let's, All right. We're going to put in the news bulletin. Hey, we're having a feast of unleavened bread next weekend. You know, I mean, when it comes, in April, April 21st, I think, right? Yeah. We're going to put that out <laughs> and see how many of y'all come down and celebrate it with us. I got an answer zero. I'll be surprised if you get more. We're going to have a big feast down here in Greenville. We're going to pronounce it and see how many come to celebrate the most high Passover and unleavened bread and the Feast of Tabernacle. We're going to start doing that. The Feast of Tabernacle downtown Greenville. Come, be, be there, be square. How many people you think will show up? 
probably about five. You know what I'm saying? And us three, and maybe two more. <laughs> but that's the way you are. You you, you love your own party already. Preference with you traditional man instead of to the commandments of God. Bring it out. <laughs> Psalm chapter 37 and verse 6. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light. What? He shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. As the what? As the noonday. Noon Rest in the Lord. And Rest in the I love that. Rest in the Lord. He read, brother. And wait patiently for him. Mm. Fret not thyself because of him that prospereth in the way. Exactly. In his way. Because of the man who bring up wickedness, the vices mm -hmm. to pass. And it, oh, okay, step in for So that's what people do, man. They look at the success of all these evil people, mm -hmm. and they get they, they, they get distracted to follow right. after evil because they see the masses doing it. They right, see the people right. who prosperous doing it. Who are telling you that this prosperity is not going to last? Like you exactly. said, you're going to be destroyed. Be the destroyed. Prosperity, what you deem as prosperity is going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. All the money, all the cars, all the houses, all the everything, that, all the clothes, everything that people. Uh, in this earth, uh, think as renowned or makes them greater than others. Uh, the Lord is going to destroy you along with you. Exactly. Only the ones that are going to be saved are the ones that come back and serve God and are trying to follow after the steps of the Messiah. Not to say they believe in the Messiah, but doing it. But doing it. The actions. Best are the doers. That's right. That's why they don't say the trying. They say best are the doers. Right? Bless are the doers. They say that right. to his commandment. That's the only way you have to They should have a right for the tree of life. The word right is, the right means you got a chance. Exactly. You just, you, you, without doing this, there's, you, you, no there's chance. nothing for you. Exactly. All right, I got, uh, okay. uh what do you say? Um, um, for you being faithful of a few things, enter into the city. See, I hope so I let you know, if you faithful of a few things, you like, you on the right track. Right. But you ain't been faithful nothing. Right. You on the wrong track, brother. Seize from anger and forsake wrath. Fret, mm. thy, fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Right. For evildoers shall be cut off. Shall be what? Shall be, be cut, cut off. off. Exactly. But those that wait upon the Lord, they wait. shall inherit the, the earth. That's what it's about. See, that's why I tell you, you gotta have, it gotta be a self-control thing. The spirit gotta be in you. Right. You gotta, you gotta wait on the most high. You gotta right. Take yourself out of the old you. This is the new me. You know what I'm saying? You gotta change those spots. You can't be like the leopard have the same spot when you come into this truth. You gotta throw your old ways away. And wait on the wait on who? Wait on the most high. That he will direct your path. And that's what's going on with all, a lot of old people and the, the so-called Gentiles around here. They just they just do what they want to do. People just just don't care anymore. But I understand why they do what they do now that I know. Because they've been chosen to be the wicked. The wicked be just, they're going to do wicked. That's what they're known to do. So why should we judge them? Huh? We just let them do what they do. We bring out the word. They hear me, tell them. Whatever. We ain't mad at you. Because guess what? You're, you're, most I have to be here to hear or I see what's going on in the world. Why y'all got one? Let me get this real quick. All right. Go ahead, yeah. what you're saying. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 30. The righteous wow. shall never be removed. What? The righteous shall never be removed. Why why you think he said the righteous shall never be removed? They've been chosen. Right. Can you read? But the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The wicked is gonna be cut down. They should not inherit this earth. Come hear the word, my sister. With your your black girl. Huh? You late? Alright, she's late. But listen. The wicked shall the wicked shall be cut down, but the righteous shall not be removed. Why? Because he's like my how I said, the father has given them to him. Right. He's given them to him. He, he created them from the foundation of the earth. Even before they done any evil and the good, they've been already chosen to be the good of the earth. Right. These spirits have already been created. They already die him. And they already in the ones that are gonna be chosen. They repeat themselves over and over because when they die, the same spirit, the righteous spirit, come back again. There's no new thing under the earth. Y'all believe in the new things on the earth? Huh? What? What was that? Damn. They don't know. See? They don't know what's going on in the world. Our people, mostly, we don't know. Uh, it takes a spiritual man, a spiritual woman to know. Do y'all know the, the origin of St. Patrick's Day? Y'all know how it began? They don't know this. Got green stuff on, walking around like everybody else. And, and guess what? A mass of people always be shot when they be together. Did y'all notice that? <laughs> It'll never be like two or three people. It'd be a mass of them being a group, and they get. 
That's why we don't celebrate these days, brother. Yeah. That moves out here. We're going to go right to the car. We're going right to the car and go home. <laughs> but he down here celebrating St. Patrick's no. Day. No, sir. The, the, the most majority of people get shot down every time you see it because of wicked worship. <clears throat> Partying. I mean, a bunch of them got burnt up. A bunch of gays got burnt up in a, in a, in a in recording studio one time. All of them was together, gayness, celebrating the rainbow thing. And all of them got burnt up. Why? Because they ain't doing the wicked act. So the most hot, you come in and judge me. You never know. So soon, the wicked shall be cut down like the grass in the field. Fred and all the evildoers, guess what? Shall they shall be no more. Soon these things gonna be done away with and the righteous shall shine like the stars in the sky. And that's what we waiting on, people. We're waiting on this new kingdom. Babylon the Great is falling. It's falling. It's falling. Babylon is falling and falling and falling. The most high has said that the cup has reached up to the heavens. And guess what? He's ready to judge this place. He's ready to cut this place down like, like the, the grass in the field. What you got, my Before I get it out. Speaking of what you just said, uh, that's why the Lord put it in the scriptures when they was in, even in the wilderness. He told them to, to, to people not to follow the multitude to do evil. Mm -hmm. Because it's so easy just to follow what everyone else does. Like you said, uh -huh. people don't know what's going on with St. Patrick. They don't know right. who the hell St. Patrick is. They don't know what they, they just doing what everyone else does. And that herd mentality is what gets you destroyed. That's why yeah. the scriptures say that two thirds of everyone is going mm -hmm. to be destroyed. That's because the majority of people are not leaders, they're followers. They're blind followers. Uh, they don't even know what's going on. They they, they do it because everyone else does. It. All right, this is Psalms chapter thirty-seven, verse eleven, I mean, verse ten. Uh, For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, they shall be. Di they thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. So the scripture said you you gonna try to find the wicked, and you won't even be able to find the wicked. When the Lord uh, sends forth his decree in this earth, you're not going to be able to find wickedness. You're not going to find a wicked man, a wicked woman, right? Because everything's going to be in unison, united, serving the most high. And everybody's going to do God's way. So that's what you're going to have to do in the Holy Spirit. It's everything you can do right. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Uh, verse uh, 11 But the meek shall inherit the earth What? But the meek shall inherit the earth The meek shall inherit the what? Shall inherit the earth And shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace That's what it's going to be brother and The only time we really going The meek going to really have peace Is when the most high come back And what? And destroy the wicked Cut them down like the grass in the field Then shall we have that bundle of peace Psalm chapter 37 verse 12 the wicked plot up against the just. What? The wicked, the wicked plot, plot up against, against the just. just. And gnashes upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him. So what? For the Lord shall laugh at him. For he seeth that his day is coming. Wicked day is coming. It's coming. That's why I tell David said he, when he looked in the house of the Lord, he felt very sorry for the wicked. Wait, they was not found nowhere to be found. Right. Nowhere to be found because he know the end of the wicked shall be like the grass of the field. They say soon be cut down. And you consider yourself not a commandment keeper, not obeying the law, not accepting Yahweh Shai as your savior, not calling yourself an Israelite, which is your true identity. Soon you're going to be cut down like the grass in the field. Right. It's, it's, I mean, because if you don't consider yourself as a chosen, the chosen Israelite, we are, we are, we are um, the, the spiritual Israelites, you might have to say. Ain't no such thing in the Bible talking about a spiritual Israelite, brother. Either you not or you are or not or you is. You got to be one of the two. Come get some of this knowledge, brother. Come, come and lift up how to be one of these mighty men in the last days. And you want to fly? Take a flyer with you then, brother. Give him a, yeah, give him a flyer, y'all. In that red. It's in that you have one, you have one now. Oh, I got you. What are you doing? Hold on, hold on. There you go. You got it right there. Hey, it's a lot of information on there, brother. Teach you how to be a mighty man in the last days. I got you. I'm going to check it out. All right, brother. I know you put him in your hand. You remember that? Yeah. The stage you would have built that long. Yeah, right in there. Oh, I got it in my hand. Yeah. All right, bro. All right. All right, first, uh, 
Verse 13. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow to pass down the poor and needy. Need. Read it. To slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, All right. and their bones shall be broken. A little that, that a righteous man have is better than the riches of any wicked. A little that the righteous man have is better than a bunch of his wicked man have. Brother, can you not understand? It's, all it takes is a little bit of, of righteousness to overcome this world. And most high will give you that by the grace. You know what I'm saying? Soon they should be like the grass of the field. We cut down. Come, 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 hey, come here, the bird, mighty kings. Y'all the kings. Y'all know y'all the kings of the earth, brothers. Come, come here, one word. One word. One thing. Come and get a flying, big boy. Come and get a flying, uh, mighty John, purple man. Whatever. All right, brother, you gonna get? Hey, might be your last chance. You never know. Better get a flyer. Get a flyer, brother. There you go, young blood. That's the spirit leading you to get this flyer, man. Come back to verse two. We're gonna see why he's why he gonna have to bring him back. Go to verse so, two. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter thirty, and verse two. It says, "And shall return unto the Lord thy God, and shall obey His voice, according to all that I commanded thee this day." So the Most High is talking to the Israelites. He said, "When you, when all the blessings and curses has came up on you, and when you return to Him and obey all that He." According to he said, you obey all that he said. That means the statute of laws and commandment. He's talking to the Israelite only now. He read, and though in thy children, and their children, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. And all thy heart and all thy soul. He read, it says, that then the Lord thy God will return thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee. And I will return and gather thee. From all the nations, whether the Lord thy God has scattered. So wherever he has driven us to the outermost place in the four corners of the earth, he said, When we come back keeping his law, this is what the most I said. When we come back to obeying him, then he gonna come back and bring us word. Keep reading. Go to verse four. Verse four. If any of thy be divided, I mean driven out unto the out outmost parts of heaven from thence. Will the Lord thy God gather thee? He's gonna bring us back, no matter how far we are, no matter where we are, from the four corners of the earth, the most high gonna bring us back. He read. And from thence will he fetch thee. He's gonna fetch you. He read. It says, and the Lord thy God will come get, some knowledge. Let's come get some of this knowledge. He read. <laughs> and the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers promised. And Thou shalt possess it. What? They said what? And thou shalt possess it. You read? And will and he will do thee good. He will do thee good. So this this is the promise from the Israelite when they went astray from the most high. When they went into captivity, they've been scattered throughout all the world. Now he said when they come back to obey him, he said he's gonna be the one that bring them to their land. Can you read? The sin. And he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. Can you read? And the Lord thy God will circumcise thy heart. Circumcise their heart. Can you read? And the heart of thy seed. Think about it. Now, if you if you was over in Jerusalem, had the, if it was the real Jews, had their heart been circumcised of this? 65% of them don't even believe in God. So that's why we know they ain't the real Jews over there. And they get this, if they were coming, if the Most High had brought them over there, they would be circumcised by the heart. They would all be worshiping them. You read? It says, circumcise thy heart and the heart of thy seed. And the heart and their children. He would have their children obeying him. But 65% of the people over there in Jerusalem don't even believe in God. They don't even believe in the Messiah. That's why we know they ain't the real people over there. That's why we know the children of Israel is still scattered abroad through the four corners of the earth and waiting on the Messiah to bring them back when they come back to keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. Can you read? It says, And with all thy soul that thou mayest live. They may what? It says, And with all thy soul that thou mayest live. Can you read? It says, And the Lord thy God 
will put all these curses upon thy enemies. Okay, now see, that's a big thing. All the curses that Israel went through, he's going to put them on all their enemies. All the ones, the, the, the slavery they went through, the, the bottom, being on the bottom, being, being um, evil eye against each other, all these things, um, wanting for everything, drinking, food, clothing, everything for nakedness, everything that we went through, he going to put all these curses on who? It says, and it says, and the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies. Enemies. That means the Edomite, the Canaanites, the, the Edom, um, um, even the Chinese, the Japanese that we know them as um, Egypt, as um, the Ethiopians, all these people that had us in captivity, he going to do what? It says, and the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies. All the curses that we went through, the most high, this prophecy have not came to pass yet. That letting you know that the children of Israel is still scattered throughout the four corners of the other world. Like you said they was. Keep reading. And on them that hate thee. On them that hate thee. The most high gonna have revenge. He gonna, he gonna say vengeance is the Lord. And believe it, the most high he know how to get vengeance. Keep reading. It says <clears throat> which persecuted thee and thou shalt return and obey the Lord it's like, and thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord and do all his commandments which I commanded thee this day so if we come back and do what Yahweh shall I mean Yahweh said guess what he's gonna put all your curses on our enemies like we was in curse we on the bottom we scattered throughout the world we were sold our children were sold we had no mind in our hands about all these curses he said he's gonna put them on our enemies that hadn't happened yet that's why we know that israel as a nation of people are still scattered throughout the four corners of the earth because we're not back in jerusalem we're not our heart has not been circumcised where we would do his commandments because the people over there guess what they're at war right now and when he said he's back in the land when the israel back in the land there shall be no what should be no more war mm. should be peace then then you know that we are still living in the last days israel is still as the people scattered throughout the world and we still got to recognize that hey this bible shall come to pass everything is said the yahweh said the word of yahweh is coming to pass we only only believe and trust in the lord